This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. And welcome to another edition of Hawaii in Uniform. I'm my host, Calvin. And uh, normally on the program, we talk about the issues concerning our veterans and military. And a little bit later in the program, we'll give you an update on some of the things that's happening. Uh, I think during the last program, we mentioned that uh, the um, VA was putting out a new veterans ID card. And uh, unfortunately, I think it's still not um, happening. So uh, we'll give you an update on that and, of course, some other issues in the future. Anyhow. Uh, but right now, um, like I said, we talk about a lot of different things that um, have an impact on our community. And we have a lot of individuals who, in different ways, do what they can to help to promote the spirit of aloha and a number of things here. Today, I have a very special guest, Miss Hawaii, Miss Mokalani. Mokihana. Mokihana. Hi. Okay. Hi, Captain. Maldonado. Yes. And um, Dorothy, I'm sorry, your last name? Too? Dorothy Dorothy. Okay, good. First, I want to thank you for coming on the program. Yeah, thanks for having mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that uh, I guess people will try to say, well, how, what's the tie in between the military and, uh, you know, uh, a beauty pageant, if you want to call it, you know? Um, the thing is, I think there's a lot of training that you guys, that your the participants go through. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, it's just, could you tell us a little bit about that, what you have to do and how did you get here, you know, in the first place? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, well, starting, the pageant was something that sort of came out through discussion with uh, Dorothy Douthit, who's also my mentor, mm -hmm. who I've known since I was uh, 12 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, she was the principal of Academy of the Pacific. Mm -hmm. So through discussion and just, you know, I network a lot in the community and I'm already a very um, busy community advocate. So through talking with, uh, she suggested to join the pageant. So I joined uh, Ms. Hawaii America yeah. last year and I only had a few weeks in and um, I learned a lot about uh, being responsible, mm -hmm. having discipline, uh, showing up on time, mm -hmm. really having courage yeah. to do things that are quite uncomfortable. Yeah. You have to do a lot of public speaking. Mm -hmm. You have to kind of be ready on the spot for, yeah. you know, um, all sorts of different events that can come up. So it taught me about confidence. Um, it taught me how to sort of uh, communicate with all sorts of different people mm -hmm. and being open and showing um, and extending compassion yep. and how to be, you know, I guess patient, um, hard work, yep. um, well, and so fundraising as well. Right. All the traits that you mentioned, uh, you sound like you make a great Marine. I don't oh. know. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> I think I would go with Air Force. Air Force is better. Okay, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, may yeah. I call you Dorothy? Yes, please do. Dar uh, I know that, um, mentioned like as far as support is concerned what is your background and how did you get involved with the um, you know the Miss Hawaii program well I've been an educator all my life mm -hmm. and um, at that time actually for 31 years I was head of a school called Academy of the Pacific mm -hmm. Mokihana came in in seventh grade mm -hmm. at the age of 12 mm -hmm. and graduated okay. um, and I have helped her along the way ever since. Mm -hmm. Currently, I um, am an instructor in the School of Education at Hawaii Pacific University, and I teach people that want to be teachers, and quite a number of my students are military, mm -hmm. um, and they do very well in the education program. Yeah. Um, that's about it. Yeah. And with uh, the pageant. Oh, <laughs> yes, and with the pageant, definitely. <laughs> okay. uh, how, how long have you been here in Hawaii? You've, uh, Over 50 years. 50 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're originally from? Minnesota. Minnesota. Mm -hmm. okay. What brought you to Hawaii besides? I Pan was brought here by the University of Hawaii to teach uh, as a professor in the Department of Germanic Languages at mm -hmm. the University of Hawaii in Manoa. Yeah. Um, <coughs> To be honest, that wasn't a good position for me. Um, yeah, I wasn't temperamentally suited, I think, right. to that. So I left and um, became a curriculum specialist mm -hmm. for the DOE, and I uh, founded a model cities program back that in wow. 1970 and ran it for five years. 
Uh, it was an education program for people that had not had as much education right. as they wanted. Okay. So we did all kinds of innovative things that mm -hmm. worked really well. Okay. Um, for example, we videotaped Korean construction workers and their bosses and then use that as ELL training, right. English training for them. So they could talk about what the boss meant when he did X or Y or Z. Right. Really interesting things, okay. yeah. Um, I know that um, with, of course, with the large military community over here, um, let's get back to your training a little bit anyhow. Um, I know my that, purpose um, for joining the pageant, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the purpose behind joining the pageant mm -hmm. was actually um, my platform is education reform. Right. So uh, <coughs> together we're, uh, we're founding uh, a school called Ho'okili uh, Ho Hawaii Academy. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was the huge vision behind actually doing uh, the pageant. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know a lot of people will say nowadays, uh, you know, beauty is in the eye of a beholder. Absolutely. And, um, you know, with all the, say, sensitivity about certain gender uh, issues, things of that nature, anyhow, why would there be a need to still have something like the Miss Hawaii pageant? the Miss America pageant. But I think, of course, there's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes when you're preparing uh -huh. to run. You know, yes. you mentioned about self-discipline and some of the other things. Mm -hmm. Because, and correct me if I'm wrong, there may be individuals out there, young ladies, who, you know, may initially get into it, mm -hmm. to try to learn more self-confidence confidence and things of that nature. Absolutely. Uh, is that what you see? Or yes, yes. Um, I never had any previous experience with pageant and once I actually got involved I saw the hard work that a lot of these uh, young ladies go through mm -hmm. um, and you have to sort of be comfortable really in the unknown and being prepared for sort of whatever comes at you right. and it, it really t it, it really did I mean the one thing that it taught me was how to be brave mm -hmm. um, and so I'm, I'm really thankful um, for joining the pageant in that sense and it also supports um, for example the Ms. America is one of the largest organizations mm -hmm. that um, give out scholarships to young girls so I definitely feel it's a it's a positive a positive organization and uh, with in regards to the military I do feel that we learn a lot of those same skill sets yeah. you know being <coughs> showing up on time waking up early you know a lot of those things being polite um, Practicing professionalism, um, working out, yeah. having a good diet—you know, all those, all yeah. those things. So, yeah. yeah, it's not easy for anybody to be Miss Hawaii or anything else. I know. I, <laughs> I tried. I was going to go for the contest, you know, but they told me a certain category. Yes, but I've been lucky. Yeah. I've been lucky. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is that in the pageants, you are allowed, you are encouraged to have a platform, so it's an opportunity mm -hmm. to get publicity and interest in. Mm -hmm things that you care a lot about. Yep. When you say platform, Absolutely. what do you mean different social programs or how does that work? Well, oh, well, a, a few besides our school, I'm also a board member and coordinator with United Nations Association Hawaii, Honolulu mm -hmm. chapter. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do a lot of, um, you know, peace summits or uh, we'll have, we just had a really nice peace day event mm -hmm. at the Hawaii State Capitol and uh, we had you know, a few uh, global summits. So through those efforts, we're able to work with people locally as well as internationally. And uh, the pageant is a good way to, I feel like, get your message, you know, whatever your message might be out to the community as well as to the world, mm -hmm. depending on what work you're doing. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. As I mentioned, of course, not everybody can, you know, wear the crown. But <laughs> those who go through the process, you yes. know, it seems that, um, again, it's a training for life. You know, I think that you know, it seems like it carries over into the, um, I guess, what I call the civilian side, you know, because even those, I guess, who don't go, you know, make it up mm -hmm. that far, you know, mm -hmm. at least the uh, different traits you mentioned, the discipline and all the other fine attributes, you know, that a lot of people aspire to, to obtain, mm -hmm. um, you know, comes into play, you know. And again, I think that can have a ripple effect when you have somebody who's been part of the system and you have other people, their peers, see them and in some way try to emulate what they do. So it does have exactly. yes. positive effect. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, no, it's it's been a it's been a really wonderful opportunity and 
we're really thankful for uh, I'm thankful that we made the decision to join the pageant and I have a lot of respect for what these young women do because it's hard work and from behind the scenes it looks easy because you know from what the public sees they might see photos of you know pretty girls but it's a lot of hard work that you know fundraising uh, public speaking uh, serving various uh, nonprofit communities all over the um, not just locally but sometimes even nationally um, you know and having to have to be on smile on your face so you you do learn a lot of a lot of uh, patience and endurance when you're going through it yeah yeah you're interacting with other people now mm -hmm. um so when you move on yes. after whether you when you take the miss america crown oh. okay well thank um, you i'm not there yet but thank you <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> thanks but um what um, I guess you'll can no matter what I guess you'll continue to do what you can, like say on the local and also national Absolutely. and international scene. My focus going into this pageant was my my purpose and the message that I wanted to mm -hmm. get out to the world. So my focus really was my platform, mm -hmm. and whatever opportunities come along with that, I'm ready to allow it to evolve and unfold. Mm -hmm. But when you you know, I'm happy for all the young women that I've met through the journey, but. Rather, you know, we all have our crown. I think it comes from within, mm -hmm. uh, whatever our story is. But ultimately, I feel when you walk, when you go into something like that, you need to have a focus. And for me, my focus has always been uh, my platform. Mm -hmm. So for that, you know, and I think having that type of mindset is really important. Um, and it's okay. And, and being happy for, you know, I'm, I'm happy to pass my Hawaii crown on to the next title holder as well. So at some point, you, well, you're currently, I guess, in your own way, a mentor? Yes, or, I would say, um, yeah. So, Dorothy, uh, there are there any other um, young ladies out there or that you're mentoring? That I mentor, there are a number of them, yes. Yeah. Usually they're ones that I've known since they first came to Academy of the Pacific in yeah. sixth or seventh grade, yes. Yeah. So what do you see as the future for <laughs> Miss Hawaii or you know, the, <laughs> all the good things? Aw. Oh, for me? Yeah. Um, I see it continuing. Mm -hmm. I think I see it um, evolving even more into platforms that are like social justice platforms. Um, I think there will always be a need for pageants and you know, they provide dreams. Yeah, or, I think with nowadays, uh, again, with people so hypersensitive about certain issues, again, uh -huh. the gender issue, um, you know, again, you know, the question comes up sometimes, why continue it? But, you know, with what you're talking, uh, how you're explaining it, you know, there definitely is a need, you know, mm -hmm. for, um, you know, to continue programs like that mm -hmm. to uh, instill, you know, yes. and help to inspire other people as far exactly, as uh, with this, you know, mm -hmm. male and female, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, there's no guys in this thing. Uh, no, we've got wonderful um, <laughs> sponsors <laughs> and, and uh, no, some of them are wonderful <laughs> hairstylists and all that. I mean, not in <laughs> the <laughs> swimsuit division. No, okay, I just no, no. Sure, you know, don't have not that. Not that there's anything wrong with it, you know. <laughs> and and I'm, we're really excited. Our, we're actually going to be launching our website today. Mm -hmm for the school, so yeah, we've got amazing uh, people in the community that are, are in our team working with us. Right. And we have a big fundraiser to support you financially. Oh yes, tonight. for Ms. America, as well as giving back to a charity that I adore, which is District 5000 Rotary. Okay, so we're going to get more into that because okay. I want to make sure we have enough time anyhow. Okay. We're going to take a short break. Yes. When we come back, we'll continue our conversation. And um, stay tuned for more um, Hawaii in uniform. Aloha, I'm Richard Concepcion, the host of Hispanic Hawaii. You can watch my show every other Tuesday at 2 p.m. We will bring you entertainment, educational, and also we tell you what is happening right here within our community. Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. I said I could play, so I ain't chance to play at all. You know, that's my life. I love music. Yeah, that's how we do it. Aloha, I'm Kili'i Akina, and I'm here every other week on Mondays at 2 o'clock p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii's Hawaii Together. In Hawaii Together, we talk with some of the most fascinating people in the islands about working together, working together for a better economy, government, and society. So I invite you into our conversation 
every other Monday at 2 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii Broadcast Network. Join us for Hawaii Together. I'm Kili'i Akina. Aloha. Okay, welcome back to uh, Hawaiian Uniform. And again, my special guest is Miss Hawaii and Dorothy. And um, we're continuing. Uh, one of the things that you started to, you alluded to, uh -huh. was it's not easy making the runs. There's a lot of uh, preparation as far as mainly financial. Mm -hmm. How does that come about or have, what support do you get and you know who do you try to elicit support from? Uh, what I, I have a wonderful like fabulous sponsors mm. such as uh, Cookies Clothing Company mm. or um, Family Programs Hawaii mm. is also another one, uh, UNA Hawaii. So I think being out in the community Having sponsors helps you financially, but we also have to fundraise. Mm -hmm. So tonight we're doing a special event, Ms. Hawaii America and Beyond, mm -hmm. and 25% um, of the proceeds will be going towards my P Ms. America pageant expenses, mm -hmm. such as you know, yeah, the gown, uh, your flight, hotel, your makeup, mm -hmm. a lot of all those expenses, and then the other proceeds, the net proceeds will be going to District 5000 Rotary. Mm -hmm. um, the funds will be used only for the state of Hawaii yeah. to help out with different community projects, um, youth scholarships, um, helping serve the homeless, and, and so on and so forth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a little bit about the Rotary. You're both members of the Rotary? Or? Not right now. No. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not a Rotarian yet. Mm. However, I have a lot of mentors that are all Rotarians or yeah. former district governor mm. Rotarians. So I t uh, usually help out with their events, mm. um, help out with uh, fundraising, and uh, and yeah. yeah. So I do yeah. feel a part of it. Yeah. Good. Uh, it was a it, my familiarity with the Rotary club system anyhow. Have uh -huh. a lot of uh, Rotarians who are former military members, you know, and oh, yeah. again, it's into the spirit of the giving back, you know, and be a part of the, uh, yeah. of the, uh, the beer family, the Yohana, you know, and um, uh, that's what we stress and try to point out, you know, mm -hmm. on the program. There's a lot of unsung heroes over here, you know, like say in the military and outside, you know, but the thing is, is that spirit, you know, like of giving back and Absolutely. being part of something that's really special. And I think that's what we have here, you know, it's not mm -hmm. a purpose system, but you know, we have some pretty good representatives like yourselves, you know, who um, do what they can to help to uh, foster that sense of, you know. Absolutely. Uh, and, yeah. and as long as we're here on Earth, um, with the time we have, we hope to continue doing that. Yeah. So, yeah, this isn't, this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you have any siblings that's coming up that will have inspired uh, to? Uh, I actually, um, growing up, I had a challenging um, upbringing. Okay. So I was actually adopted into the Casey Family Program at age 10. Mm -hmm. So I do have family, but I'm not very close with them, mm -hmm. and um, which which is okay. And instead, I've I've been really blessed with wonderful mentors such mm -hmm. as uh, Dr. Dorothy Douthit yeah. and several others that have played a very crucial role in my life. The Casey yeah. Family. A little bit more about that. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> So um, uh, the Casey Family Program was, during my time, was a very, uh, we were really lucky. Any of the kids that got into the Casey Family Program, um, we were really blessed to be able to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. And so I was allowed opportunities to go to private schools, mm -hmm. such as uh, Academy of the Pacific, where I first met uh, Dr. Dorothy Douthit, who I call Dr. D. Yeah. And I also had opportunities to receive the healing and treatment that I needed to heal from, you know, my earlier PTSD, which took me about nine years that I, I overcame that. And uh, it was a really, it was a, a huge blessing, sort of like a guardian angel that gave me a second chance. Yeah. 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 Speaking of PTSD, I was able to <laughs> Yes. Still in different forms, anyhow. Mm -hmm. But um, just to let the viewers know, there is a program called um, Miss Veteran USA. Oh, fantastic. And these are women who are, you know, went through combat or different stressful situations. And, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, even some of them lost limbs, you know. But oh, what it does is still is that sense of confidence again or, you know, let mm -hmm. people actually know what uh, sacrifices a lot of our women soldiers have made yes. and some of the unique things that they're going through. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it's good. Have you been, haven't heard of that program? I haven't. Yeah. No, I haven't, okay. but, but I'm so happy you're We're going to try to get a, one of the representatives from there to 
come on and if they do I'd like to have you, you know, oh absolutely come on I'd love to meet them I like that because yeah. my, my daughter-in-law is um, a vet she's in the reserves now but she oh, okay. uh, was in difficult situations yeah. mm -hmm. um, well, thank you for well, thank her for me mm -hmm. for her services yeah. anyhow. But yeah, that's one thing we try to touch on anyhow. As far as some of the things that are not really prominently um, talked about in the media, you of know, course. it seems like one of yes. those things where, uh, with our female personnel, there are some again unique situations. You know, mm -hmm. not everybody's in dire straits or you know going through all that. But um, for those who are, you know, they need to be adequately taken care of. And um, I think right now they. Estimate we have like about 55,000 homeless women yeah. veterans. Yeah. You know, what's here in Hawaii, I have no idea, you know, but yeah. for whatever it is, we need to take care of our troops, male and female, yes. and yes. get it taken care of. And Absolutely. speaking of which, do you um, interact with the military community as far as doing any? Um, Bob I, Hope's gone, so I can't do any shows with him, but is there anything else that you do uh, as far as? I would be open. I haven't um, so far. In my experience this past year, if you were to ask me, just based off of this year through the pageant, I haven't had the opportunity yet, but I would love to um, connect with, the, if there's a way that I can help out with an organization or something, yeah, I'd definitely yeah. love to help and okay. support them in any way that I can. Yeah. Okay. Just to make you aware, there's an organization called the um, Oahu Veterans Center, okay. and down in Walkenburg, um, mm -hmm. down by Radford, whatever it is, it, close by, uh -huh. <laughs> but anyhow. They did. Most of the uh, veterans organizations meet down there anyhow, you know. But might want to contact them. You know, it might be something that uh, might be mutually beneficial to absolutely. the organizations yes. and you know to yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. And I work individually with uh, veterans. There's a wonderful veterans center at Hawaii Pacific University. It's really? Right. Yeah. Um, and I think we have the most veterans uh, of any of the pro uh, private or public colleges here mm -hmm. um, because we provide such really good services for them. Oh. So. What it, um, what is there a contact number or something? Because that's the first time I've heard of it. I know oh, that really? Yeah. 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 No, I can no. send it to you. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll put that out and maybe, you know, have you come back and talk about um, sure. you know, that situation because the thing is there's a lot of different programs over here and a lot of people, especially the veterans community and right. also their families may not be aware and connecting the dots, you know, to these different programs, right. you know, mm -hmm. might help out, you know, so. Uh, Maybe yeah. I could bring someone from the Veterans Center yes, yes. Uh, for that. Okay. Yeah, make an arrangement great. on that anyhow. Okay. It's a beautiful space. I'd come down and visit it myself anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, what do you see for the world? There's so much I want to do. Uh, how do I say that in one? Um, I really, I, I really believe in the force of love and aloha and extending that out um, from within. Of course, you have to love, you have to go within and love yourself first in order to overflow that love to the community. So I would like to continue to do as much good as I can. We'll, con we'll see how, you know, everything evolves and unfolds from here, but I'm open and um, excited to uh, continue seeing what happens along the journey, but I want to continue doing as much good as I can. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, as far as we always talk, well, not always, but <coughs> most of the time, uh, the doom and gloom, you know, mm -hmm. what positive things do you see coming about in the future, I mean, as far as what our current well, generation mm -hmm. and what's coming up behind? Yes. Uh, besides our school, I think our school will be an exciting um, uh, will be an exciting uh, facility for the state of Hawaii. It'll be um, the first of a, first of its kind built from the ground up, with uh, and we're working with some really amazing people in the yeah. process. And another exciting thing I see that um, happening is through United Nations work. We are going to be hosting our next international world. Uh, Young People Congress, um, which will be happening in Morocco, either 2018 or 2019, mm -hmm. and Hawaii will be in charge of the USA and Asia delegates, of selecting USA and Asia delegates, so we'll be getting ready to launch a huge fundraiser so that we can um, pay for uh, the flights and everything. Yeah. So, As far as with the fundraising uh, for mm -hmm. the different projects, yes. uh, 
is there one or more organizations that uh, can be contacted if uh, people want to get involved as far as I will um, I will yes absolutely I will uh, we will do as much as I can mm -hmm. and um, there's a team of people there it takes a village so uh, besides just her and I we have a lot of other people a part of this uh, journey with us mm -hmm. so yeah whatever we can do um, in our abilities we'll definitely be willing to listen mm -hmm. and definitely, meet yeah. And, okay. yeah get back to the event that's coming up tonight Yes. You want to talk a little bit more about that? So if oh. anybody wants to buy <laughs> tickets to help you Absolutely. support your Oh, thank run. you. So tonight we're having uh, Ms. Hawaii America, and it's to support, again, um, my my next step for Ms. America, as well as net proceeds will be going to District 5000 Rotary Foundation. So it's going to be tonight at the Manoa Grand Ballroom between 5.30 to 9.30. We're going to be having a wonderful entertainment as well as a silent auction. Uh, it's, it's already too late to have the buffet dinner because those seats were RSVP'd. However, if you show up at the door, uh, it's $50. Initially, it was $100 with the buffet dinner, but uh, $50 at the door, you can participate. Uh, there'll be drinks and good entertainment and silent auction and just meeting some wonderful people. So if I just hang around in the parking lot, how much would that cost me? Oh, <laughs> hang, um, hang, no. <laughs> I was saying, no, no, I don't, oh, no, I don't, <laughs> no, I don't, no, no. yes. Okay. Um, so what other events do you have that's coming up to help again with this tonight? I have else? my nationals the coming national up event. in Ms. America, which yep. will be um, on the Queen Mary March 8th through the 10th. Okay. Um, I'll be flying out there and um, yeah, that'll be um, also after this event, I'll then be my next step will be preparing for my Ms. America right. event. Okay. We're down to about 45 seconds. Dorothy, you got anything earth shaking that you want to share with the audience before we leave? Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right. Anyhow, uh, it's been a pleasure anyhow. And, Thank you um, for having us. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Say we try to, you know, get the word out there about what's happening. And, um, you know, um, again, we try to make the military tie. I'm quite sure that there's people out there who will be inspired, you know, by your story and your dedication as a mentor, you know, to, uh, um, you know, some of the upcoming talent, you know, that's uh, here in our community, you know. Oh, so, absolutely. Uh, it's great. Wish you luck on it. Thank you and, so much. And, um, you know, when you, can, when you become Miss America, we'd like to have you come back on the and program. And you can come tonight, by the way. Okay. <laughs> if that was your way of asking, uh, you no, can definitely no. come tonight. That wasn't I'll have a seat for you. Okay. okay. Anyhow, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> I didn't mean to go begging. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I mean, you're anyhow, I want to thank, you, thank mm -hmm. both of you for coming anyhow. Thanks. And thank the viewers for tuning into the program. And uh, we'll keep your prize of what's happening in the future with other veterans' information. And there are a lot of other good programs on this station that do cover veterans' issues. Thank you very much. God Thank bless. You. And until God bless. that time. Thank you. Aloha.